What's going on people on the YouTube's War Delicious here and today I'm going to convince you as to why you need more than one character on the division. So first of all we've got Phoenix credits, the most important thing in the game at this point. You're limited to 80 a day with 15 each for the two daily missions and 50 for completing the challenge mode. Now you can only get these once on each character so that's not very good, that's 80 a day max. However, Phoenix credits are shared between characters and dailies are not, meaning you can do the dailies on each character and still get the rewards for it, but the rewards for the Phoenix credits will be shared across all characters, so if you have 200 credits on one character and then do all the dailies on another character, you'll have 280 ca 80 Phoenix credits overall. So this means with two Phoenix characters, instead of 80 Phoenix credits a day, you can get 160, or with four characters, which is a bit extreme, I don't think I've really got the time for that, or many people have, you can get 320 per day, which is ridiculous. With multiple characters, you can get Phoenix credits so quick, you'll be getting all the blueprints and all the high-end gear really, really quickly with the amount you can get. Now four characters, like I said, it's a bit extreme for this, I don't think many people are going to have the time for this. But two characters is very, very doable, and it really adds up just having two. For example, just doing it with two characters for a week will give you an extra 560 Phoenix credits, which is ridiculous. You wouldn't say no if someone offered you that. The second reason, which is just speculation at the minute, but I think it's going to be what happens, is for the incursions. I think they'll be very similar to Destiny Raids, where you only get rewards once per week per character. So having multiple characters will allow you to get multiple sets of incursion gear per week meaning you can do it so much faster. Now this is where I think having four characters is viable, as incursion rewards will likely be on a weekly basis rather than a daily, you don't have to do the thing four times in a day, you can spread it over a week, so that makes it a lot easier. And also, you're going to want to start making these second characters now, rather than the incursions come out and all of a sudden you've got to get four characters to level 30. That's a huge amount of time you need to put in, which is better off spread over a couple of weeks. The third reason, which is the most important for me personally, is going rogue in the dark zone. This is the whole point of the dark zone, the whole point of the end game for me to be honest. It's the most fun I have in the game. However, I also want to get to dark zone rank 50 and unlock the high end gear. And I can't do that if I go rogue, it's literally impossible. Or you just have to sink so much time into it, it's unbelievable. The problem is, if you go rogue and you die, you lose so many points and dark zone credits. It's just not even fun anymore. Like I think at like level 50 you get set back about one or two levels and about four or five hours work. I mean to go rogue for five minutes and lose four or five hours work is just ridiculous. And it just sets me back hours so there's no point in going rogue for five minutes to then have to grind killing bosses for another four or five hours. It's just, it's just pointless. So with a second character you don't need to worry about the dark zone rank. You can just go in there, you can have fun, you can go rogue and you can kill people. Pretty simple, pretty fun. And the final reason, which again doesn't seem important now but soon will get more and more important, is storage space. So the stash is fine for the minute, but it's not massive. And it's again, similar to Destiny, people are going to be collecting all the high end gear, weapons, guns, and the space will quickly run out. With a second character, you don't even need to level them up, you can literally just get to where you get to the base of operations and that's all you need. You can use their backpack space to take stuff out of the stash and store high-end weapons there and then just put it back in the stash when you want to transfer it to a main character. So this really effectively doubles storage space and then you can do that between four characters and you can make your storage space absolutely massive because pretty soon people will start running out of space. Now the only con for having more than one characters is the grind and time requirement it takes. It's a little bit of a grind to get to level 30, it's not too bad, especially you know, the quickest way to level up now really is to get a level 30 friend, to run you through a high end mission and then you're just way ahead already with getting like 160,000 XP as a level 4 or something, it's just ridiculous. So there's the initial time requirement to get to level 30, but then there's a the time requirement to do the dailies multiple times and do stuff multiple times. Now, this is where two characters is reasonable, I think a lot of people have the time to do stuff twice, but four characters becomes a little bit more unrealistic but I still think the four characters are worth it for when incursions come out. Thanks for watching and be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification button to never miss a video like this. See you later.